hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install and run zorin os on virtualbox now for those of you that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see this is my computer where i'm running windows server manjaro and tails os now you can run multiple operating systems on your virtualbox so we are going to be installing and running zorin os on our virtualbox now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that Open your Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. So that's what we are looking for. Now click on that. And then by the left over here, click on Downloads. Now VirtualBox is available for different operating systems. But we are going with the one for Windows since we are using the Windows machine. You can see for OS X, Linux and many other operating systems. So let's click on Windows Host and it would start downloading. Now I already have this installed so I don't need to download again. But you can just download that directly. Now you can install just like every other software. However if you find it difficult to install then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on your Windows machine or your Mac machine. Now after installing VirtualBox, we have to download Zorin ISO file. And to do that, search for Zorin. Okay, so once you search for Zorin OX, it's going to take you to this page. Now click on Zorin.com, the first page up here. So let's click on that. Okay, now click on download up here. And then you can see Zorin OS 16.1. And then you can see Zorin OS Core, which is free. So we are going with Zorin OS Core, except you want to pay for the Pro version, which is not necessarily needed you can actually do a lot of things on the core version so let's click on download free skip to download and it should start downloading okay so you can see it has started downloading and this file is 2.8 gigabytes so let's cancel that so after downloading zorin os and also installing virtualbox we can begin with the installation so you can see Zorin OS over here on my PC, I downloaded before now. So let's begin with the installation. Now the first thing we have to do is to create a new virtual machine. And to do that, open your virtual box and then click on new up here. So let's call this Zorin OS. And then set the type to Linux. You can see it is automatically set, that's because of the name I used. And then set the version to Oracle 64 bits. And then next now this is the maximum amount of ram we want to allocate to this machine so let's give this 5 gigs of ram now take note you shouldn't allocate more than 40 percent of your total ram on your pc to this machine else it will slow down your host pc you can see i have 16 gig of ram on my pc that's why i'm allocating 5 gig so let's click on next create a virtual disk now create vdi next dynamically allocated next and then this is the maximum amount of storage you want to allocate to this device. So let's give this 65 gig and then create. So our new virtual machine has been created and you can see Zorin OS and these are the specs of this machine. Now we have to make some changes to this so let's click on settings up here. And then go to system by the left. On the motherboard you can see the base memory which is the RAM which we can switch whenever we want to. This is the processor section and we are going to allocate how much cores we want this machine to run. So 3 is ok, you can see from 5 is not recommended so you can see within the range that's ok for you. So let's go with 3 and then the motherboard, this is the RAM. Now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes, and then click on ok. Now we have to import the ISO file so click on start. Now this is where we are going to select the ISO file. So to select the ISO file, click on this file icon over here and then click on add. Now you have to select your Zorin OS ISO file we downloaded earlier. Click on it and then open, choose and then click on start. Now it would initiate the installation. So you can see, so let's try or install Zorin OS save graphics. So let's hit enter. Now you can see the option to try Zorin OS or install Zorin OS. Now select the language and then click on install Zorin OS. 
select the keyboard layout and the language as well continue now let's continue now if you're unable to see anything on the screen you just have to drag it a little bit so just drag and then hit continue down here erase disks and install zorin ox now there is nothing to be worried about this is only going to erase the disks we are located to this machine so now click on install continue select your region and continue now this is where we are going to fill in our details pick a username and the password this is the password we are going to use to login so you can either choose to login automatically without a password or use the password and we are done you can hit on continue and it would start the installation now this may take some time so you just have to wait patiently so guys you can see it has been successfully installed now let's click on restart now now hit enter So you can see Zorin has been successfully installed. Now let's log in. And we are good to go. Now one final thing we have to do is to change the resolution because we can't really view everything properly. So right click on the screen and then go to display settings. Now you can change the resolution over here to your PC resolution. So I will just go with something that works with my PC. And then click on apply and you can see it is now showing full screen so let's minimize this and you can see over here welcome to zorin 16.1 now i'll just click on no thanks and we are good to go if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one